Hello everyone, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to just have a look at a few things I've been buying lately. Uh, I haven't really been going out sourcing that much. I've been super busy and it's the holidays and everything's just sort of crazed around here. So I don't have too, too much to show you, but I, I did get a few nice things. So first up, I got this pin. Don't you love that? I don't think it's gold. I am actually going to check it. I looked with my loop. I'm not sure, you know, um, but I think this is really lovely. This is certainly old and I think it's really pretty. Sorry, my hand's really getting in the way. Hopefully you can see how pretty that is. The little dangling green glass here. So I got that. I didn't pay much for anything here today. Not at all. Oh, I got some real gold too. I'll show you the gold I got. It's kind of amazing. First of all, I saw these like in a little basket of stuff and it was mostly junk and I said to myself self <laughs> are those real they look it right they look it by those diamonds especially so let me see if I can find the mark and I'll show it to you I'm probably not going to be able to get that hopefully you can see that it says 14 K L G L see that right there so anyhow these are really beautiful let me um let me put these on my earring thing hold on so here they are. They still don't really look that great on the camera for some reason, but they're studs and the backs are also 14 karat gold, which is nice. I like the kind of height on them. Really beautiful, right? So this was really a lucky find. I got these in that same thrift store. These were just in that same bowl of kind of junky stuff. And these are 14 karat, as I just showed you. I almost put these back too. I mean, I picked them up and I thought they were, they looked like real gold to me. And then I was like, no, I don't know, maybe not. And I almost put them down. Luckily I didn't, because <laughs> I couldn't see that they were 14 karat gold, you know, till I got them home. So this was just another very lucky find. And these have uh, some nice weight to them too. And I think they're just gorgeous. I love these. Here's one I picked out that was not real gold. I thought maybe this was white gold, but it is just sterling, which is fine, you know. But when I'm in a situation where things are a dollar, and I think they were also having a two for one sale, then I will just sort of grab stuff that I think might be gold, you know, and check further when I'm home. So this does say 925. So that's okay. I was just hoping, you know. This lovely pin is screaming 1940s. Everything about it looks 1940s. I love this piece. Look at it from the side. So this unfortunately does have a dead stone. It is right there. It's black. It looks like it's missing, but it isn't. I mean, it's not super noticeable, but that is kind of a problem right there. So that happens when moisture gets behind the stone. These are foil backed. And I guess when moisture gets on the foil, it erodes over time. So this one is signed. It is gold filled, as you can see. It says 120th 12 karat gold filled, and it's by a company called Taylord. I have never seen this name before. I looked it up, and it was apparently a company that was started in Newark, New Jersey, and it started in 1940, which makes sense. But I think this is really beautiful. I like the way there's the gold tone on top, and then the underside has the copper. I think that's really interesting. I like it. I got these two flower power pins. These are in great condition. First of all, it's getting harder to find these because a lot of people know about them and collect them and they have a little bit of value. But usually when you see them, if you see them, they're chipped up. This enameling is all chipped up on the edges and these are both like near perfect. So these are really pretty. These were together in the same place. I love these. I think these are very interesting. They're plastic and they're like not hard plastic either. They're sort of like a, a flexible rubbery kind of plastic which I think is interesting they're in really nice condition I don't know I just thought that uh, they were really unusual and different and uh, yeah I dig them so when I was looking through their brooches this one just jumped out as quality of course it's missing a stone which is really a shame see it right there and I don't have that rectangle stone to replace it unfortunately but this is a crown trafari as you can see and I think this is just lovely. I love the design of it. It's another one that's sort of swirly and interesting. And I just love these rhinestones. It is a shame about that one. I'll probably just sell this one as is. 
because I don't have a stone for it. It is really pretty though. I bought these for myself to wear. I just love these. I think they look very Renaissance and it seems like they would be Metropolitan Museum of Art, but they're not marked. But I really, really like these. They look good on, you know, and they're not too, too heavy. So I just got these to keep. These are in really nice condition and I think they're very unusual. I love these. 1970s jewelry is red hot right now. 1970s fashions overall is a trend right now. So this is just fantastic. Beautiful enamel, very cool 1970s pin. How about this little bunny? This is a trembler. His head is attached by a spring right here. This is quite lovely. Gold crown. Hmm, I don't think I've ever had a piece of gold crown. But I thought this was a really cute tack pin. You just move as you walked a little bit. Adorable. This one I paid up for a little bit. I think this was $6.99 in a thrift store. And the reason I got it, even though you can tell it's modern and it's likely made in China and everything, is because it's a magnifying glass necklace, which I love. This is just awesome. So you can wear this into a thrift store, yard sales or whatever, and when you can't see, you know, when you're me, <laughs> you have this little magnifying glass right here, which I think is awesome. And I love mermaid jewelry anyhow. This is on a, a nice long chain. Not real, just silver tone. But yeah, I really like that one. I think that's a lot of fun and useful too. Here's a little figure old guy. I don't think this one is old either. Thought I found it somewhere. I was like, all right. I don't know if that's signed LF maybe or, or nothing. <laughs> Not sure. But I thought he was really cute. I like purple and green together. I think that's a cool combination. Lots of great shiny rhinestones. Not old, but I think kind of pretty. And I'm sure people collect snail jewelry. I'm sure someone does. I bought this because I think it's really unusual and weird, and I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if that's supposed to represent a heartbeat or, I don't know, what do you make of this? I'm not sure what it is. It's sterling, there it is. It says 925 AJ. I know I've had AJ jewelry before. I guess it goes like this, right? Yeah, I'm just not sure what it is. If you know, tell me. And don't forget to tell me what your favorite pieces are too. Anyway, I just think that's kind of modernist and kind of cool. I keep finding Morpho butterfly wing jewelry. Here are some really pretty screw back earrings. So they're reverse painted on glass. They put the horizon there and those palm trees. And you can see there is reflection here. Like when you turn it a certain way, you can see the blue butterfly wing. That's really pretty. I've never seen one that had so much gold in it before, you know, to look like the sun was setting or rising. Not real, but they weren't much money, so I grabbed them. I think these earrings are interesting too. I just picked them up. I don't know, maybe the, it came originally as a clip-on or, or maybe not. I don't know, maybe this is just a brand new thing. I just got these to wear because I think they're different. I really like the black you know, and then you have the rhinestone in the center. I think that'll look good with blonde hair. That's what I'm thinking. So the first thing that attracted me to these is that they sure look like rose gold. I did examine them. I didn't see any mark on them. They are light enough to be gold, if you know what I mean. I love the movement. Who knows if the, these are the original parts right here, but I like them to wear. I like them to wear because they're so very, very light. I think those are really cool. At the same place, they also had these, and I just love them. They're just so light. I think these are gonna look good on me. I just bought them to wear, you know? They're nice and big, yet light. And so that's the trick, is to find earrings that are large, because that's how I like them, but not so large that they, you know, pull down in your earlobe, which I hate. So, these are awesome. I got this necklace just for me. This is much too long for this neck thing, oops. <laughs> so um, I just love it though. I love the tassel. I love everything about this. So I got this one to wear too. I love the length of it. It looks real flapperish, right? Yeah, that one's cool. I got this really pretty Victoria's Secret cuff. I don't know, it was probably just like the perfume, right? And then they gave you the bracelet for free or, or vice versa. I'm not sure which it is, but let me try to open it here and we'll take a look. 
This is a very nice wide cuff. I love this black. I think this is really cool. I bought this one for resale. I didn't look it up yet. I don't know if it sells. I was just assuming that it might. I think it's new, you know, in the box. So that's pretty interesting. I got this necklace thinking it might be jet. Now it may be French jet, which means black glass, or it may be jet jet. And we're gonna take a look to see if it's jet jet. So what we do is we take a piece of unglazed or unpainted ceramic and we're gonna scrape some off here. And if it leaves a black mark, then it's real jet. If it doesn't, then it's just glass. So let's see what we get. No, it didn't leave a mark. So this is just glass. Still very, very pretty. I like it. I love the facets on this one. Look at that. And the spacer beads. Really pretty necklace. This pin has red rhinestones, but they're probably not reading red, but they are a really nice ruby red. I think this is interesting. This is an interesting bar pin, right? I think this might have some nice age on it too, possibly. That's a pretty item. Something about these jumped out at me too. These are very high quality. These are shell right here, and they are marked Germany right there. These are really lovely. Just really something about them. I love the, the rainbow iridescence and you know the fact that they're layered like this. I think these are really pretty. I can't remember if I just got these or if I already had these, sorry. My apologies if I showed you these before. I actually don't remember them. I guess these are, uh, well, they're sterling, and I guess that's opal, or maybe it's imitation opal. I have to look further into it, but these are very pretty earrings. I love all that tarnish. That's great. I love these. The last thing I got is this tie clip. This is really nice. It is signed Cremence USA, which is right there. Cremence made very, very high quality gold filled pieces. And it is clearly not gold. Let's see if we, I can show it to you. There is some gold tone scraping off over here. Yeah, I guess my camera is not gonna be able to capture it. Anyway, there is, <laughs> but I think this one is, is very pretty also. This is a nice vintage piece. I love that one too. Well, thank you so much for joining me today for this little mini haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment below. Subscribe to the page if you want, and I will catch you soon. All right, cheers.